fourth graders are incredibly social. They love opportunities to share, whether it's something from their weekend or something that they connected with on vacation or even something that they learned in Chinese class or Spanish class, having the opportunity to share it with their friends or share it with the class during morning meeting, they, they love it. Working with the specialist teachers was a huge part of what we did. We would have planning meetings with the other teachers before the year, throughout the year, and of course at the end of the year to make sure that what we were teaching was being supported by them and what they were teaching was also being supported by us. It really was an incredibly collaborative atmosphere where everyone was trying to allow the students to benefit the most from the material that they were being presented in a variety of different subjects and languages. I could definitely tell that their language skills were improving throughout the year. They enjoyed taking the skills that they had learned in Spanish or in Chinese class and would respond to my questions, which I had asked in English, in Chinese or in Spanish. Or they would greet me, before I even had a chance to greet them in the morning, they would greet me in the language that they were taking. Um, or if we were doing math and they wanted to shout out the answer, by the end of the year they were shouting out the answers in their language. So it, was, it wasn't that language was just in a room for an hour a day. They were bringing everything that they knew to other parts of the day, which was really exciting. I think my kids will be fluent by the end of sixth grade. <laughs> no doubt. I think they'll be taking trips to China and taking trips to Central and South America and to Spain. And I, I can't imagine, even now, I think some of them might be conversational and able to get through a day in the life.